Hi, my name is Javed Gangji and I'm the lead engineer for Speak Your Mind Foundation. My topic today is assistive communication devices and the right to speak your mind. Our story begins with Don and Lorraine from just north of London. Don has ALS, or Lou Gehrig's, which is a cruel disease that paralyzes you from head to toe. But through it all, they've stayed together and they just celebrated their 25th anniversary. Don hasn't spoken for 15 years. He's used a sheet of paper to communicate. So if he wants a J, he'll look to the top right and his wife says H-I-J. He blinks and that's how they form words. So what he could use is an eye tracker, a camera that tracks your pupil, and with that you can control a mouse cursor on the screen. But commercial systems can go up to 15 grand, and in Canada uh, they take way too long to receive. So uh, what happens is that they are leased, so they make rounds on eBay, and they're really outdated. So the time to learn these systems is it, because they're way too complicated. And uh, while you can, you can change the look of things, but if you are an exception, it doesn't do what you need it to do. And Don's that rare case. His eyes don't work as well as the products needed to. He's never really typed on a computer, so new technology is just frustrating, leaving him stuck with the sheet, and Lorraine is his voice. And I want you to think about this. It's 2014. We're using a sheet of paper. Like, there's something wrong here. Being able to speak your mind should be a right, not a privilege. And that's what gave birth to a revolution where you take things into your own hands. And it all started with the Not Impossible Foundation's iWriter. So it's a do-it-yourself eye-tracking headset, and uh, with that you can control a mouse cursor. And so my journey started with Tempt, an amazing graffiti artist from LA with ALS, which left him unable to draw and pursue his passion. That's us in his room, and that screen is him drawing again with software put together. Meet Aaron from Boston. Uh, all he had was blink once for yes and twice for no. Couldn't call the nurse, couldn't talk to his friends and family. And that's him writing his name for the first time with a hundred dollar eye tracker and our software. That's Kathy with our director and the device she's using is uh, 10 grand and it breaks every hour. And that's her using our uh, custom keyboard that she just flies through. Maggie uh, had a brainstem stroke and uh, was about to have the plug pulled on her but her mom decided not to give up on her and they lifted her eyelid and realized she was still in there. That's her using a $20 headset to look up and down and say yes and no. Tori was hit by a drunk driver when she was 12. We built a game to get her to track faces uh, by having pictures go across the screen. So if I have to look at Justin Bieber one more time. <laughs> Back to Don. So instead of forcing him to learn something new, I thought I'd just replicate the process that he used right now. So when he looks to the top corner of the screen, it loops through the letters H, I, J, and he looks to the middle, and his letter is there. So we went from being able to write one letter to one word to a full sentence. So since then, he wrote an email to his friend. He wrote a speech, and that was the first time his friends and family have heard him uh, speak. I want you to look at this. That's him saying, I love you to his wife of 25 years. And when he said it, she had the biggest smile on her face. I hope that makes you realize how important this is. This is about returning the control that people had over their lives. We picture a world where everyone has an equal shot at getting a job, at going to school, and at expressing themselves regardless of their economic background or their biological state. So now that we had a working system, we had to figure out how to sell it. You look at our competition, and they're about five grand, so we were thinking 500 is a good point. Um, so we did some deliberation, and we came up with the worst business plan ever. <laughs> so, why free? Because being able to speak your mind is a right, not a privilege. Everything's free, posted online, open source, and we want sponsors to foot the bill. So please come be part of an amazing journey. 
Uh, we're still very young. We need so much help. Uh, thank you so much for your time.